Hello and welcome. In this video, I will explain you the concept of reusable cover group with respect to system Verilog functional coverage. And by this example, you will understand how you can write a code or cover group which is reusable in nature. So if you want to change the bins in the future, then no need to write the entire code or no need to uh, do a modification in the entire code with the help of little modification you can find the or you can get the expected result from the code okay and here i have taken a very simple example and i have taken a module base example to understand this concept okay. now you can see i have defined a module a reusable cover group in that i have defined a logic variable which is of four bit mode is a variable name which is of logic type and as you know 2 raised to power 6, 4 is equal to 16 combinations are possible so here we are uh, writing a bins explicitly vector bins so uh, they will 16 0 to 15 okay and as you see uh, as you can see cover group cg within parenthesis i have written a rich ref variable which is of logic type same as this variable whatever we have defined here and size need to be same 3 down to 0 if if you give a different size then the simulator will throw an error you can try it by yourself now input is int type i am giving a range for this bins lower and higher reusable in nature and input is string for identifying the our operations like arithmetic logical shift and jump operation for them we are you know declaring a bins so the goal of this example is to generate a different bins for example 0 to 3 is for arithmetic operation 4 to 7 is for logical similarly 8 to 11 for shift and 12 to 15 for jump operation okay now as you can see here this is what the cover group now after that option dot per instance is equal to one we need to give this in order to uh, get the detailed analysis of the coverage report and another one is option dot name and i have assigned this to the instance name which we have declared as a input string type for different operations okay to see that operations in the coverage report now this is what the label cp for cover point you can give any label cover point and this is what the where name which we have declared as a ref type okay for this we are writing and it will refer to this mode okay and this curly brace in that i have written a vector bins bins bin is a name and a square bracket is you know indicated indicates the a vector bins and within curly brace i have written you know lower and higher range this is what we have defined here as an input type in an input type okay and end group you know i'm ending this cover group here and these are four instances for that cover group cg cg1 cg2 up to cg4 and within initial begin block uh, i am you know allocating a range and name so this cg1 is equal to new within parenthesis mode which is nothing but you know our variable mode and 0 to 3 is a range okay and arithmetic operation within double quote we are providing so this will nothing but an inst a string right instance name similarly cg2 is equal to new mode for this our mode variable and 4 to 7 for logical and similarly for 8 to 11 shift operation and 12 to 15 for jump operation this is how we can you know make a reusability increase the use reusability of our cover group and within forever begin block you can write a repeat also but uh, if you are repeating 10 times or 20 times you know you are not getting the 100 percent coverage and for getting that 100 percent coverage i am writing this forever begin block okay mode is equal to dollar u random you know i am assigning a random values for this mode variable okay and this is what the sample method in build sample method of the functional coverage and this is what the instance 
cg1 dot sample we are sampling all these you know instances here and after one and uh, after 10 time unit we are you know generating a different random values okay and this is what the end of this forever begin and end of this initial begin block okay and initial begin you know i'm you know declaring a 500 time unit of delay and after that you know i'm stopping stopping the simulation it is you know must if because we are giving the forever begin block and this is what the you know you can easily understand what this is uh, a reusable cover group okay and we will try to run this code and we will see so control save and control s for save and control enter for running the code so you can see the output result here okay so what the report we are getting we will try to understand the we are getting the 100 percent coverage because we have written a for forever begin right forever block we have written so for that we are getting 100 percent okay <clears throat> now if you can see mode 0 to 3 arithmetic operation so you can see that bins are 0 to 3 okay this is what the bins we have declared lower and higher variable and 0 to 3 for you know arithmetic operation this is what the instance name and it need to be you know hit one time but as you can see either here four times you know this bin is hitting and six times and one and four so all the bins are hitting okay so we are getting 100% for that particular instance arithmetic oper operation and for the you know, second instance logical operation you can see here we have uh, four to seven logical so four to seven are for logical and we are also getting 100% here and for shift operation 8 to 11 8 to 11 for shift operator operation and instance name is jump operation 12 to 15 we are also getting 100 percent coverage so this is what you can easily analyze and you can easily find that reusable cover group have you can make okay let me comment this option dot per instance is equal to one so if you comment this and you run the code you will find that the detail will not be there okay let me run this code so as you can see bins are not you know showing here so this is what the importance of dot uh, that option dot per instance is equal to one okay and this is what the option dot name is equal to instance in it if we commented this then we you know i think it is difficult for us to find that instance name which we have given this arithmetic operation in logical and shift and jump okay so you can see unnamed it is showing okay so for giving that you know name to that particular bins we are using dot option dot name is equal to one so that it will generate the meaningful data okay. and you can see the same result which we have got first okay. So this is what the concept of reusable cover group and you can try this by changing a different size and uh, changing the values here and you will find it little you know simple and interesting to see the reusable cover group okay so i hope with this you have understood the concept of reusable cover group i also i hope you have enjoyed this video so thanks for watching Thank you.